Um, you got a bird's eye view. It's okay. gonna be close. I don't know about the other side, but I think this side's gonna lose. Yeah. Yeah. Some rice flour, some baby bananas, pre-cooked Italian organic polenta, and some sambal, which is a condiment. It's got a little garlic and chili paste. What is this called? That's good luck. Sambal. <laughs> what is that? Oh, yes, I yeah. Okay. okay, you have okay. 25 minutes. We're, and remember, it has to be discernible. Every ingredient the chefs have to be able to taste. Every one. How is it going? Oh, good. Yes. It's going pretty well. Mark's holding that counter up. It's not going to and what do we have here? Shrimp, heads off, deveined, ready to go into the pan. Okay. See you in a few. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to put this in. We saw it inside. Okay, we're at 20 minutes. Right. How many eggs are we doing? Five minutes to go. I think four. Three. No. Are we supposed to be doing three plates? Uh, yes. Okay. Right. Four. 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 Can you tell us about the, those duck eggs? What happened with the eggs? Well, Francesco purchased the eggs at an Asian market where apparently the chain, the Asian sign yes. said uh, duck eggs. Yes. But they're the duck eggs that you bring home and keep warm and then you have little ducklings and then you eat them in a few weeks or a couple of months. So they were a little over the yolk part and into the eyes and wings part. So we substituted the duck eggs for chicken eggs. Plan. What is the plan? We're doing a yes, a, 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 a shrimp with the, the shrimp with deviled eggs, and we're doing a polenta and banana, banana and egg fritter. <laughs> prosecco, prosecco. There's prosecco in the fridge, wine fridge. Six minutes. That's it. That's all I have. Looks like uh, team, I believe, A. Right. Is um, doing some frying techniques. I see some spices uh, moving along. Um, there are some interesting smells coming out of Team B kitchen. Um, also, some frying going on there. Um, the shrimp look like they're already cooked on that side. This side, not so much. <laughs> uh, we'll see what happens. Okay. Uh, and then we need to dollop with that, or did you already put that in? I'm going to take a little more of that one. Okay. I wouldn't give you 50 cents. Yeah, come on, we're really okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've we got less than two minutes. Beautiful. Plenty of time. Stress. I'm on vacation. What do you think is going to happen? How are the groups broken up well, this year? Now that I've, I've sized up the uh, players, I'm thinking Group A looking looking pretty solid. Group B could have some some wild cards in that bunch. And then have some you have we're concerned about twenty five seconds. Okay, what what well, I think we're plated. Yeah, well, yeah. we just need like a, a this is something is special. Beautiful. Okay, we need to make a beautiful team. With a with a shrimp and grits, uh, your appetizer features sauteed saute shrimp with fried polenta. Uh, with a side of sliced baby bananas coated with egg wash with rice flour and a hint of cinnamon. I believe it's cinnamon. Yeah. To wash it down, we've... Nutmeg. We, to, to, oh, nutmeg. Clove. 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 <laughs> to wash it down, we're featuring a light mimosa with a blueberry garnish. Bon appetit. Oh, lovely. What, who is sp the spokesperson for Team B? I think that's all. Team for that. <laughs> Hello. Likewise, we are offering you a, a play on breakfast. Uh, you'll find on the left of your plate a polenta and banana pancake, um, also seasoned with cinnamon. And on the right, you'll find a sambal shrimp deviled egg. The bananas, I don't know, I find them odd, a little odd, strange. They're a little bland. Um, but, you know, together it's a great, great, uh, great put together, you know, idea. <laughs> I thought the shrimp was cooked well, the, you know, cooked properly. It was a very tasty, moist shrimp. Um, I agree, the polenta 
isn't incorporated into the dish. <clears throat> the garlic spice could have done something with that too. It's just basically, you know, you just kind of wiped it on there. Color is nice. Presentation was nice. I like the cinnamon in the banana, but it, I don't get enough banana flavor. It's a good first try. No, a, a good home cook, I guess. A good mm -hmm. amateur cook. Uh, but you know, but it's not. Just called you amateur. You know, for uh, yeah, yeah, because yeah. <laughs> because it's just really, it's not really a dish. It's just. It cooks no, shrimp, it's ingredients. And warm polenta, oh. and just some, you know, just ingredients put together in a dish. Okay. Thank you, Chef. Right. I love a deviled egg. Um, I like that it's chunky, the shrimp, and, you know, I think it could have been a little bit more um, un little uniformity to make it a little bit more um, luxurious, and it would have worked really well if you would have got to that. Um, this is a great idea. Um, a little burnt, um, but still a, a great idea. Um, to transform the ingredients, um, just uh, you have to understand you, you need seasoning is, is the key and, and you're very bland. You know, yeah, you have to you have to taste and a little salt will go a long way. Uh, professional chef, lots of salt. I thought the banana use was better on this plate, and I tasted the banana. I agree with the seasoning on the shrimp. The shrimp was cooked perfect here. The shrimp is overcooked here for me a little bit in the egg. Um, like the flavors, like the flavor combination. Um, <clears throat> again, of the two dishes, I think they used the ingredients better in this dish overall and incorporated it into some kind of cohesive dish more than Team A. Got it. Chef yeah. I kind of say the same thing as Peter said. Uh, this was a little bit more of a dish. Uh, and, 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 I, and I like the contrast between the, this was kind of crispy and this was kind of a little bit creamy. So I like I like the also the textural contrast in here. Uh, this was good. Yeah. Cool. So we have some uh, Japanese pumpkin, kobocha. We have a little coconut milk. We have ginger, some sharon fruit or um, persimmon. We have some lobster. We're still pretty much kicking. Oh my god. Live lobster. Oh my god. Okay. And we're making miso. Some uh, light miso. Okay. And that can help you with a little saltiness. Don't grab the tail because the tail will snap back and forth and it will just cut you. you okay. Grab them like a skirt. Like this, okay? A little additional advice because you have 30 minutes. Uh, these gourds are, are quite firm and tough. So be careful. You know, you don't want to cut yourself with them. So, you know, just keep your fingers away from the blade. Um, Chopping through it. What are you doing, Harry? I need a sharper knife. We're making bowls for the uh, for the stew. Stew, not soup. Stew. 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 Beautiful, Sonia. Nice stirring. We'll get more. Lauren's coming, Lauren. Just give it a little splash. Keep stirring, Sonia. All right. right. Yeah. Not a trained professional. No, no, that's okay. But I'm not sure. Right now. I'm waiting for another glass of wine. Too aggressive. Like shake. No, no, both. Look at the corner. Seventeen minutes. Here, want to put the claw in? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. They're looking in trouble. Team A, man. You're going to step on the part. Looking right at us. <laughs> and, this is, and this is supposed to be the A team. <laughs> uh, the A team. I don't know. Left? Uh, it's a whiskey that we got. You need a job. Okay. Let's open this up. Well, actually, you know what? I'll take it out and then I'm going to have you use the fork. Did you see how I did a before? So you've got to kind of. And then use the fork and kind of stir them up. You can do it together. Wait a minute. Do we have a non-cracker? Okay. So what are we pouring? I don't know if that one anymore. Should we put these on here? Yeah. Make them look pretty? Yeah. I'm going to have one help with soup. <laughs> this is a vegetarian soup. <laughs> Oh, 
Lauren, can you grab my wine though? That's very important. That needs to take We're having a hollowed out pour with lobster. Now the lobster's in the bottom, so I ask as you begin to have your meal, you'll notice there are um, I don't know the name of the gourd, I'm sorry, but the gourd seeds are, are your garnish on top. And you'll find the coconut milk, miso, toast, put that miso in, and ginger flavors throughout the broth. Uh, we hope it is seasoned to your delight, and please find a, a fried persimmon chip on the side as well. Who's, who's, who's idea was this? It was, um, it was my father's idea. Group effort. Yeah. Oh, yeah? So why don't we serve it? Again? Okay, so let's see. Oh, I like that's very creative. What, and what is this? It's persimmon chip. Persimmon chip. Oh. Oh. Persimmon chip. I think it's a little bit salty, a little more acidic, <laughs> but overall, I think it's a good dish. Maybe if you incorporated this into that somewhere, we'd give it a little more acidity to the dish. But I think overall, it's um, it's impressive. Wow! Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Points for creativity. Hey. Yeah. Um, I found the lobster cooked perfectly. Oh, I, agree, yeah. I agree with I agree with Zod. It's a little salty. Um, <laughs> they overcompensate. I don't think the. I think if you hollowed out the gourd and used some of the gourd fruit, yeah, it, it would have incorporated that into the dish. And the persimmons, I agree. If that would have been incorporated into it, to add some another note to the dish, it, it would have been a little more interesting. But it, it's fun. It's a fun dish. But uh, somebody's got a heavy hand with salt, and I like salt. <laughs> Professional chef, lots of salt. I uh, disagree with both the judges on this one. Uh, I think the salt is right on. Uh, I think uh, the chef's in love. When the chef is in love, the chef seasons. Um, and I am that kind of chef. I am always in love, and I over-season everything. Um, that's what I do, you know. So, you know, when the chef is in love, that's, he's into salt. Um, so I'm okay with it um, for me. Uh, I would have liked this more like in a cooked component, so it's roasted, so you can actually eat um, the kombucha. Um, it would have been a um, proper uh, way to do this and not just have it. Um, it's a great idea, the vessel. And um, the seeds uh, are uh, um, kind of a fail because um, they're not really edible. They're, they're, um, they're too crunchy and um, it's a good idea, but um, all in all, I love the dish though. Um, great flavor. The Japanese pumpkin, persimmon, and a celery, onion, your plot. <laughs> you you will note you will note hints of sambal from the last round, um, and uh, we incorporated with some with bread from a very famous uh, New Jersey bakery. Enjoy. Uh, <laughs> I didn't hear a mention of lobster. Where, where is your lobster? We're, we're actually serving a table side. Did you eat one? My father I, 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 uh, <laughs> ate my brother in law. I call shenanigans. Scoop it in. Mark said, go ahead. We ran out of the room. Okay, it's interesting. Dad, you're eating one of our lobsters. Okay. One, one of ours was eaten by Hunter oh, Bryant, so please remember to drop points from the two. That's automatic disqualification. But wait a minute, it wasn't on the table. Yeah, it wasn't served. And what happened to the table? It's fancy. It was the third one. It was the restaurant. All right, You had two lobsters and you ended up with two. Food expenses. Right. We have a third course. Yeah, a oh you know what food waste is? <laughs> uh, just like the flavors are just not working at all. Uh, that's all I gotta say. It's just bad. It's just bad. I agree with Zod. <laughs> No, no, it's a, it's a textural thing too. It's, yeah, it's, there's nothing going on there. I didn't expect to have um, <coughs> what's the word? Like a partridgey kind of finish. I expected something lighter. Uh, the spice is way out of line. It just overwhelms your palate. I mean, it's nice if I was opening my sinuses, and it did. <laughs> Crouton, yeah, and it's overcooked and dried out. And, um, and the lobster, the fact that we we cut two lobsters and we came up with two and a half claws. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna ask for a second bowl. That's for sure. I would love to um, really disagree, um, but unfortunately, 
<laughs> and actually, I want to I want to give some good points because um, there are some good points to this. Texturally, there's a nice kind of like viscosity here. Unfortunately, it's not edible. <laughs> but the viscosity is nice. I mean, a good. Uh, the color looks great um, visually. And the best part about this dish was lobster, believe it or not. It was actually nice cool. uh, close. It was cut from very good. Right. Um, so, you know, there are some good bright bright points to it, you know? <laughs> All right, it's time now to hark back to the appetizer course to think about what Team A did and what Team B did. Team A I think it's did, clear. did the polenta and the bananas <laughs> with the breading, and Team B did our nice, uh, oops, I shouldn't use adjectives. Team B did the uh, hard soft boiled egg with the uh, stuffing, and then you just saw Team A and Team B prepare their entrees. Do the judges need to confer? Yeah. Well, uh, I'm uh, I'm uh, B. Um, I would say Team B. They, yeah. they incorporated the, the first two dishes were better than the second two in a sense, but I think B incorporated the ingredients better, and some elements could have changed in that dish to take it up a little bit. But I think they did a better job. And this, like I said, I agree with Sean. This. Nothing's going on. Nothing going on. Right. This wasn't edible. He's speechless. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so Team B did a much, much better job. Congratulations, guys. This, I thought this, this dish was just a little fine thing. It could almost be a restaurant. Uh, wow. A dish that you can serve in a restaurant. Yeah. Not my restaurant, but it could be <laughs> fine-tune our skills and we'll be back next week. Oh my gosh, it was it was fantastic. So the first round was a challenge because I don't eat shrimp nor have I ever done the head of and vein. So we had some, some excellent helpers in the kitchen, right? Sonia and Lev helped us out with all the prep and running and getting ingredients. And then second round was the lobster. More shellfish. More shellfish, which I also don't eat, but we had Hara's expertise on telling us when to take it out and how to cut it and where and get the pieces out. Um, no, Uncle, Cousin Harry, and my dad, Uncle Brian, um, did your papa, did the gourds, and hollowed them out, and we took the seeds, and we salted them, and they might not have been the judge's favorite, but we had a great time doing it. It was a big challenge. Teamwork was the key to our success. So, congratulations to Team B. I thought their ideas were creative. I liked the, the Japanese pumpkin bowl. I thought it was very good, and they really thought outside the box and, and brought their, their stuff for, for the chefs today. I'm so excited to have been a part of the Gordon's Chopped this year, and it was just a great experience. Uh, the ingredients really stumped us sometimes, but I think we came through with shining colors, and go Team B. A lot of fun. Uh, it was very interesting, and I enjoyed um, the creative you know, output of people who are really not doing this for a living. Um, it was very energetic, and uh, I commend them for their uh, their enthusiasm. Thank you. Well, we're excited to have you. Thank you for coming. My pleasure. So uh, they did the best, the best they could, uh, but there's always going to be a winner. And this time, Team B won, which was very unexpected. I think perhaps maybe Team A tried too hard and they failed, knowing that there was professionals trying to judge them. Uh, and I think Team B maybe just said, ah, let's just wing it and whatever comes out, comes out. And that's probably uh, that's why they probably won. And that's how we went down. Okay. I'm looking forward to next year. Hopefully awesome. If you invite me back. Of course, we'd love it. Right. Thank you. Thanks. It was a lot of fun. I'm glad I came. Even though I have to now stay in my restaurant till 11 o'clock the night prepping, it was well worth it. So it was a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm so glad. So it was. Uh, it's always enjoyable. I always enjoy you guys' company and. It's always fun. It's a fun house to be in. <laughs>